Hello there everyone, it is Toby from TIJ Education. Today I'm going to be showing you how to convert your vinyl records into an MP3 format, not an LP3, an MP3 format. Now, first thing off, I am using the Ion USB turntable. This is an Ion Contour LP table. Um, I would recommend using one of these, and this is the method I'm going to be showing you. So if you have another turntable with a USB and plug socket, plug, the, the plug socket, start this off, well, haven't I? Um, I presume it'd work the same, but today I'm using an Ion, again, I'll show again, an Ion Contour LP uh, turntable. Unfortunately, I haven't got the box, or else I'd show off the box. These are between £30 and £60 on eBay. I did find a used one for £30 on eBay uh, recently, but luckily, I got this off Facebook for a fiver. £5, absolutely unbelievable. Um, so first things first is obviously to buy the turntable. Buy a um, turntable again. I presume they all work the same, as long as they've got um, a USB socket. USB socket comes out the back. And there's also, obviously, a plug, which you put into a plug socket. So I'm going to put the plug in the plug socket, wherever the plug socket is, it doesn't matter. Um, and then put the USB into a USB socket on your computer. So now that it's plugged into the PC, however much laborious that was for me, because I had to get to the back of the PC, we can start to convert the LP. Now today, just a complete random one, this is the first one I found in my wardrobe. Today we're going to be converting the Andy Williams show. Only the first two tracks, so I can't be able to do all of them. Um, but the first thing you need to do is download Audacity. Now, if you have a disc, which I've got here, supplied uh, with the Ion, you will see there's an installation disc um, with the vinyl and tape converter for Windows, and the audio converter for Mac. Hopefully that's uh, sent in at some point as a decent focus. An audio converter for the Mac, um, and Audacity, the recording software for Mac and Windows. But because this came out over 10 years ago, obviously, um, the versions on the internet are going to be far better uh, than what you would have usually. So here's the page you need to go to to download Audacity. I can realise that my webcam's gone off now. Uh, but this is the page you need to go to to download Audacity. Now, I'll leave a link to this down in the description. But all you need to uh, really put in is Audacity into Google. And then go to this page. And then download Audacity. Turns out I've already got a version of Audacity. So that doesn't really matter. So we're going to download Audacity, what I've already done. Um, and now I'm going to show you inside Audacity and how to start recording your LP. So here we are then on the Audacity screen. Now this will look a bit confusing to some of you and some of the formats might be a little bit different, but usually it's pretty much the same for everyone. Now, to start recording with your device, um, you go to recording device, it might be lucky and you might have the only recording device on there as the uh, record player. But what you need to look for is this one here, microphone, it should be USB PNP device. Um, but really you can just test them all out. If you start recording, um, and I'm going to fiddle around with the record player, as you can see, there's obviously sound coming off that, so that is definitely the record player. Um, and if you go through all of them, you'll realise that it's not Blue Snowball. I'm not going to record with that because that's the microphone I'm using to talk to you guys right now. So obviously next, thing's, uh, next thing to do is to put the record on the LP player. The same as any other LP player. Um, obviously get the record out. I'd, this isn't a tutorial to how to put a record on a record player, believe me. Um, obviously just put the record on the record player. Um, and when you're ready, start to play. But obviously the most important thing is, is that you've got Audacity open um, and that you start the record button. I recommend starting the record button now, a little bit before um, you put the record on to the, uh, onto the LP. Obviously make sure you've got it set right on the right hand side. You've got the 33, 45 and 78 settings, depending on whether it's a, um, a single, etc. Whatever it is. Um, and now we're going to start to play the LP. I've got my blue snowball in the way here, so that's not particularly great. And as you will see, you've got the sound coming here and the sound will start. Um, and the simple thing is to keep it playing, keep it recording until the end of the LP. Well, my life's been incredibly enriched by six minutes of Andy Williams. Just the first two tracks. Obviously, if you were converting your LP, you would play it until the, um, the side finishes. Or if you were just converting one track, obviously you just play it until that track finishes. Um, and then stop the recording. But let's see what the fruits of our labour are in Audacity. So a few things to note um, when in Audacity. It's quite important to only have this tab open. I've got other tabs open, but because I've got a fairly powerful PC, that's okay. But if you've got other powerful tabs open, the likes of Handbrake or Google Chrome or whatever, that can take up quite a bit of space um, on your RAM. And that means that potentially the recording might not go right. So there might be bits cut out, not because of the record player, um, but because they just it just simply can't play because there's too many processes going on on the computer. So that's something to bear in mind. Um, and I suppose something that might be another FAQ in the comments when you get to your endpoint, obviously click stop. Click stop, um, or you might have to click, I think, I can't remember what it is now. It'll either be the record button or the stop button. It's amazing, I've used, I've used Audacity a thousand times, and I'll tell you something, I cannot remember. No, it's the stop button, it's the stop button. 
um, to stop recording. Yeah. So when when the LP's finished, um, press the stop button to stop recording. Don't worry if there's bits left over. Um, this is what we're going to sort out now. So as you can see, to convert the file to MP3, which is our next step, um, we need to cut out all the riffraff, all the 20 seconds that I spent mucking about um, before we got to it. So you need to be on this tool here, um, which is the selection tool. You can also get to that by clicking F1 um, and simply dragging across all the way until you get to your first bar, which obviously you can see here um, by the same waves. Then you click the cut button and that will be the first start. But obviously, again, we've got another bit to cut out because that was simply just the crackle of the LP. And then we are to a proper point of the start of the track. Um, so obviously to convert one track, it's, just a sim it's quite a laborious process, I must admit. I've conversed about 10 albums through it. It's a quite a laborious process. But basically all you do is just keep on going until the end of the track. It's a beauty if you've got the uh, if you've got the track lengths on the back of the LP because you can actually work out how much you've got to cut. But basically you're just going to hold down the left um, you've got to hold down the left clicker for as long as you get to the final track. So let's say that the track is this long. I'm not going to go for I'm not going to go on forever. Um, let's say that the track, I want to show the end of a track. So it will typically be, this isn't the best example to use actually because this is a live show. But because there's usually a bright break between tracks, you'll notice it like dips there and there'll be nothing for a few seconds. And then it'll move on to the next track. So what I would do is convert this track by track. So say this is your first track. So if you want to export this to an MP3, you go to File, Export, and then Export as MP3. Then obviously save wherever you'd want it to be. So this is track one, and the track is They Long To Be Close To You, brilliant classic by The Carpenters. So put that in, um, if I can spell it correctly. Deary me, what's going on there? And then just click the Save button, uh, click OK there, and then it will just convert um, with a standard preset. You do this as long as you want for all the tracks, um, but it's important to note that you only uh, export the selected audio, which I think I did there. Um, I might have been wrong, but just make sure that you do export um, the selected audio. An easier way to do this potentially uh, would be to click Control and X. That will get rid of the audio that you've just made. And then go to Tracks, Add New, and Add New Stereo Track. And then as you can see, you can just select that track as a whole. And then just export the selected audio. I don't think I actually did that first time, so... Um, scrap what I just did, because I think that exported the whole track. If you export the selected audio, um, and then obviously make that they long to be close to you. Um, change the format to MP3, which I haven't done there. I'm, I'm having an absolute mess. This is meant to be a tutorial, for goodness sake. Um, do that as an MP3, then convert that. I would say it converted the whole thing, because it's not taking as long to convert now. And then just simply do this with each and every track. Now, another FAQ that might come up, another asked question that might come up, well, I want to do two sides of, of, of record, and the problem is I can't I can't do it because it will just continue on the next one. Well, the simple thing is you can either choose to record, and it will just simply record after, your, after the first side of the LP, so you can just cut from there, or if you wanted to make a new track, just do what I did earlier. Add new stereo track, and then use that. I hope that's been a helpful tutorial for you guys. I realise it was a bit mucked up at some point. I haven't really got a plan for what to do to go in there. But it's just basic, simple steps. Buy the LP table. Plug it in. Um, again, the USB is in the back here. Put the USB in the computer. It might take a few minutes to recognise the USB. Possibly. Um, so take a few minutes before you uh, start recording. And obviously put it into a plug socket. Put the LP on. Um, and record an Audacity. And then start playing. And then to convert to MP3, just simply drag the line across. To each track and export each track individually or what you could do is just select the whole track um, and export each side separately i'm not sure what you guys would like to do this but i know as somebody who's bought one of these and didn't really know what to do with it when i first bought it um, i hope this will be a help to at least one person now at one point i do help hope to release another video which will look at how to use the um, vinyl and tape converter to do it because I, I haven't used that and i don't know if that's a better um that's quite a handy thing in the middle of the lp table actually to put my cd uh, but it might be a better way to do, but Audacity is the Audacity. Audacity is the way I've done it. I've got a lot of experience with Audacity, so that makes it a little bit easier um, for me to work around it. But of course, if you've got any questions about how to do this, any problems you might have um, in doing this, please leave it down in the comments. I'll try and answer your comments if I know what I'm talking about. And of course, if any of you guys are successful with this, please leave a like. If you're successful, as I said, 
leave a like and it lets other people know that this is a good tutorial. And if it's not, let me know what the criticisms of the tutorial are so I can improve and I'll definitely upload this again if there's other things that I need to add um, and perhaps an updated version if there's some things that you guys say, well, you didn't add that or you didn't elaborate too much on that. But I hope that's a helpful tutorial to you guys. As I said, that can really be appreciated by leaving a like and um, subscribing for regular educational content. I realise that educational content is perhaps not a subscri uh, subscription-based I'm getting all the words out here, all, all subscription-driven based, subscription-driven, let's just go with subscription-driven. Anyway, I'm going on. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, that'd be great. Leave a like down below, comment if you've been successful or not, and if not, I will try and help you out. But if you've been successful, also please comment, because that'd be great for me to know I've helped at least one person. But thank you very much for watching this tutorial again. I hope it's helped, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.